lads, how are we all? I hope you are all doing really, really well. And yeah, welcome to another video. This one's a little bit different. This is going to be a pack with me video. I'm not entirely sure like the setup of this. I'm thinking I'll maybe chat a little bit and then other bits I'll kind of vlog and do a voiceover. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a pack with me from a holiday. I'm actually doing this like proper in advance. I, as I've got older, just really like to be organised, prepared. Like I spent so much of my younger years running late not being that organised and yeah spending more time like finding excuses as to like why I hadn't done something than just doing it. I also find that I get quite anxious when I am travelling and different things. Not an anxious flyer or anything like that, just like when you're going away like I like to make sure like I've ticked off everything I need to do and yeah that I'm really super organised and prepared. So today is the day that we're packing the case. I've got all the stuff in the other room. Um, I've actually been really quite organised for my holiday this year. Like I started getting bits and bobs together over the, like, the last kind of month to six weeks. So I've got loads and loads of bits to take away. I've tried it all on a couple of times. I have done a couple little kind of like outfit planning videos on my TikTok so I'll like insert them or I'll put my TikTok um, on because I will be actually sharing a lot of holiday bits when I'm away. I plan to do quite a lot of like outfit of the days and stuff so if you kind of want to see any holiday looks or like makeup looks or what we're getting up to when we're away then all of that will probably be on TikTok. But yeah I'm feeling quite organised for the holiday. Chris and I are actually sharing a case now you might be thinking what the hell Laura and we are also going away for two weeks but the idea behind it was well, first and foremost, the luggage. Can we just speak about the cost of luggage? Our luggage to have, like, both of us having a big suitcase was costing more than the flights, the two flights. Um, like, two of us being able to fly there and come back. And I'm just like, I'm sorry, Ryanair, but that it's just not on. They also now no longer let you take on, like, a wee case on the plane. You know how you used to always, it was, like, free charge, take your carry-on, happy days. No, 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 they've changed that now. It has to be like, they're now trying to, they, they now charge you to take that on the flight. Um, don't quote me for every flight, but ours, that is, seems to be the case. And I know my, my mum and that, they were the same when they went away um, not that long ago as well. So yeah, that pissed me off when I went online and I thought, no, no, do you know what? I will prove to you that we can fit all of our stuff in one case. Now I'm like, mm, 20 kilos, two weeks. Could be a bit of an issue. But we are staying in a villa, so... Well, it's like a townhouse um, and we've got like a washing machine and stuff like that. So originally I was like, I'll just take things, I'll wear them a couple of times, blah, blah, blah. And I feel like I've ended up with a lot of clothes. So hoping that we'll be able to stay under the weight allowance. Um, I'm not as bad now for like taking products and like over like taking makeup and stuff like that. Like I don't think I'm even going to take eyelashes with me because I just don't like, this is the kind of makeup that I wear a lot. I don't even have foundation on my face. So I'm probably not even going to take foundation when I go away because I probably won't wear it. I like to just wear a Charlotte Tilbury, a little bit of cream bronzer. Like I've got my products that I know that I will use when I'm away. Um, and yeah, I'm just like not overtaking things. I'm also not taking a lot of pairs of heels. I've taken like one pair. I'm going to wear one of my sandals traveling. Like I'm not going to overdo it with accessories. I'm taking my Chanel bag with me. And then I'm going to take two other small bags. I feel like I've really kind of like concise what I'm taking. Because let's be honest, we all overpack, don't we? And then you get on holiday and then you end up just like wearing or reaching for the same things. So with all of that being said, I am hoping that this case it's going to be bang on 20 kilos. So if you want to pack the suitcase with me, then just keep on watching. Here we have the stunning suitcase that my mum and dad have kindly lent me for my holiday. Okay, I'm going to be a lovely girlfriend and pack all of Chris's stuff in first, make sure that fits, and then we're going to tackle my stuff. So. I've already went through and cut the tags off all of my things because I am a prepared queen. Chris has just bought his holiday stuff and left it like this. So it's going to be my job to like detag everything. <sighs> BRB. Okay, so I have packed all of Chris's stuff. Still lots of room. It probably doesn't look like there is from this angle, but there is a lot of room still. I like to roll 
everything in the case. Sometimes it looks a wee bit messy. I always find it's like the easiest way to fit more things in your case. And also we've got an iron we get there so we're, we're not ironing stuff before we go in. Like, oh, we're just going to do that as we go. So I've now brought through some of my bits. I'm going to start with bikinis because I can like put them all in like little bits at the side because obviously they're smaller. I'm going to do that just now. Good morning loves. So I did say this was going to be a pack with me. Also why am I extremely close to my steering wheel as well? I did say this was going to be a pack with me video but I also wanted to film a little holiday prep. I'm going to go today. I'm having like a big holiday prep day. I'm going for my nails, my toes, an eyelash lift, my eyebrows and rather than putting that in a separate vlog I thought I would add it into this pack with me. So yeah I'm hopefully going to look a lot more presentable soon because I am so tired this morning. also washed my hair yesterday because we went down to Newcastle. My cousins had a little baby. So yeah yesterday was just filled with lots of baby cuddles and it was honestly just like the best day. There's like nothing beats a newborn baby. I washed all my hair for going down there yesterday and for some reason this morning it's just not looking it's best. It's like looking as if it needs washed. So we've chucked it up. I've got no makeup on because I've, like I said, I'm getting stuff done to my face, like my eyebrows and my eyelash. So I don't want to have any makeup on. Let's go and hopefully make herself look a lot better for going on holiday. Good morning my loves, it is the final day of the holiday prep, we actually fly to Marbella tonight um, and I'm so so excited and the final part of the holiday prep is going to get my composite bonding done. So if you watched my last vlog you'll know that I went for my initial appointment, um, I had two initial appointments, one consultation and then the appointment that you'll have seen the last time was me going, getting all my teeth cleaned. I got my back brace removed and I was given a course of whitening for two weeks so I've been whitening my teeth, I'm really pleased with how they're looking and yeah I'm super excited to go and see Dr Debbie today and get my composites done so yeah I'm really excited honestly like I can't wait, I feel like I'm grinning so much already uh, and I can't wait to see the finished results so as always I'm going to take you with me, I'm going to try and get some behind the scenes on my camera and on my phone so yeah if you want to see the full process of me getting composite bonding then just keep on watching. Honestly, I am so, so pleased. Like, I can't actually believe this was my new friend. 
She had to pop on and give Dr. Debbie a massive shout out and also Jenna who works alongside her. The two of them together are honestly brilliant. I was so at ease the full time I was getting my teeth done. They taught me through everything and yeah, I'm honestly just so happy with the end result. We're now two weeks in the future and I have been trying to get this particular vlog up pretty much every day that I was on holiday but the Wi-Fi just was not strong enough for me to export the video properly, it kept failing. So I wanted to jump in and give you that little explanation as to why this video is now going up even though I'm home. You'll have seen at the very end of the video that I went and got my composite bonding done and to be honest it's probably better that I'm jumping on at the end just to give you like a full review. So obviously I've had my new teeth for two weeks, just over two weeks and honestly best decision I've ever made. I really felt it on holiday, like I was just so much more confident and smiling. Obviously my job includes like getting videos, photos, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, I just felt so much more confident, properly smiling. I feel like for quite a while now, like I've kind of like half smiled because I don't want to show all my teeth. And yeah, these just made me feel so much more confident. I've had no issues with them at all. They're super comfortable. Like I don't even, like I don't even notice them. That's something a lot of people have been asking, like do you even notice? like or feel them in your mouth or anything like that. No, it's obviously still my teeth, it's just got the kind of layer up on the front to make them a lot more perfect. So yeah, I will actually maybe pop up a little question box about the composite bonding on my Instagram and then either I just answer the questions on Instagram or maybe I could do like a little segment in another video where I just kind of roughly go through some questions. But yeah, I honestly cannot recommend Dr. Debbie enough and Jenna who works with her as well. They're both just so, so nice. Put you at ease, like explain everything to you. Um, the whole procedure wasn't uncomfortable. It wasn't painful. Um, and yeah, I am obsessed with the result. And if your teeth is something that bothers you, and you're just interested in going and finding out about it, I definitely recommend them. Like honestly, I'm just, I'm so pleased with my teeth. So yeah, just wanted to jump on at the end here, give you a little explanation as to why the video wasn't up before now. And yeah, also just give you a little update on the teeth because like I said, it's been over two weeks and I'm just still so obsessed. So that'll end this video here. The next one you're gonna watch is our holiday vlog. So that'll be up on Sunday. And yeah, then it's gonna be autumn content from there. And I'm very excited. I'm excited for all the cozy vibes. I'm excited for the pumpkin candles. I'm excited for just for everything that the colder weather brings. I'll get into all of that really soon. So as always, thank you so much for watching another video by me and I will see you in another one really, really soon.